Greetings, Entities and Guardians. My name is Hyper Himes, and welcome back to another video where I'm going to be reacting to basically the new reveal of the new update of Cookie Run Oven Break. Where, basically, fun fact, if you haven't seen it yet, I actually did release a video just, a, I, don't, I don't know, maybe a day ago, maybe a couple days, I don't even remember. But whenever, whenever I upload this, just know that I made a video where it was basically talking about the theories of what could we, what, what we would be potentially seeing from this update and analyzing, uh, analyzing. You can say it either way, even though one way is so much more better than the other. Uh, just taking a look at the trailer that they released involving the new Ivory Dragon and whatever else it has to offer. And if you haven't checked out the video yet, I really recommend that you do so because it might give you a little bit of perspective of how I viewed it or maybe how other people viewed it for, uh, you know, before we really got any information about it. I've heard some leaks about, like, uh, and by the way, the video is starting because, uh, showing me an advertisement for uh, PayPal, which PayPal is great, let me tell you. Uh, but now it's giving me like this minute, like two minute long countdown or something, which this countdown looks very different. But basically this video is just me gonna be uh, reacting to the, is, it, is this music different? It's way more fitting, I don't know. But uh, I'm just gonna be saying, uh, I'm gonna be reacting to this and uh, unfortunately I can't show you the video because if you wanna watch the video, I will leave a link down to this actual like update reveal video in the description because I want you to experience it for yourself and this is just gonna be like a straight up reaction video This is usually how I do my reaction video So I apologize if you expect like a, a plugging of the small video in like the corner of the screen Well actually vice versa my webcam in the corner and like the whole video Just everywhere else But this is just my way of doing it. So I apologize if it's not up to your standards, but I don't know Just kind of how I meet my how I kind of do it But while well, there's one minute left on this thing waiting for uh, everything to be organized and set up I just want to say, if you haven't checked out that theory and analysis video yet, I recommend that you do so. And also, I was gonna say, I was gonna say subscribe, but I want to wait until you watch the whole entire video because I want to be sure that the content is fine for you. I don't want to just immediately say, hey, you haven't, you've watched nothing of this video yet, so you gotta subscribe. That's not what I want to do at all. I want you to actually watch the content if you want to enjoy it, or if you like want to stay or something like that, just for you to uh, know if you like it or not. But anyway, there's only 20 seconds left. Uh, I will say something that I did forget to mention. Apparently, I think there were leaks about Oven Break and Kingdom having a crossover event in regards to the new dragon. And if that's the case, that would be actually pretty cool. They're really treating this like a cinematic countdown, I tell you. By the way, if you were wondering, oh, what's in this reflection? I, I think that's just like something for like, I don't even know. All I know that on my monitors, it's like a cookie run thing and like an empty thing of MS Paint. But okay. Welcome to the Season 7 Update Preview. Oh, I'm pretty sure also someone isn't there. So Someone's there, but it's not Mi'kmaq. Because I'm pretty sure recently it was announced that Mi'kmaq had a baby, and they're trying to be a good father figure. <laughs> and instead it's hung -Yuk. Hello there. hung -Yuk Bay, the producer-director of Cook Run Over Break. They have Bay in their name? It's so sweet. This big update wanted to come and introduce everything myself, so here I am on YouTube. This is shocking. And also, by the way, Rose has plumbing little dragon wings, which kind of reminds me of Lychee's dragon wings, but that's pretty cute. First time hosting the update preview with Hong Yuk. Looking forward to it. It's fantastic. And she's like, wait a minute. Did you not get did you not get the dress code memo? Oh, they don't have wings either, or wait. Did you, okay, she has, she has his own pair of wings for Hong Yuk, which is like a black pair, which I don't know if I can really match that with the dragon in the oven break, but hey, it still looks cute. Uh, looks like we're all set to go. And by the way, I like the balloons in the background that just spell season seven. And the seven back and like the seven balloon is actually like rainbow colored, so obviously they're putting a nice production into this. But anyway, yeah, when was the last time he was here? Because he mentioned uh, hopefully I'm better than the last time in here. But anyway, uh, there's talking about in today's video, we'll be updating you on the dragons and many more news. There's definitely gonna be a lot of news in this one. I mean, it's season seven. Don't take your eyes off for one second. Oops. <laughs> At the end of the video, uh. Let me guess, revealing a coupon code for 700 Rainbow Cubes in Season 7 Special. Okay, so they are releasing a coupon for Rainbow Cubes, just as always, that's always predictable. But great. New breakout episode and cook run up and break. Okay, they're releasing a new breakout episode, of course. Lots and lots of reward, all in Season 7. What kind of story will the new episode unfold? They're, they're, just, tell, they're just spitting so much at us. New rewards, new breakout, new story. In the most recent story, Ginger Brave and friends were escaping the Lychee Cave. Yeah, we remember that. Apparently, Lychee Dragon, we tried beating him up. And uh, apparently they still woke in the Ivory Dragon. Just when everyone thought they were safe, 
Oh, and everyone was hypnotized as well, because the plumbing lights is strong. They were subject to a mysterious attack that turned the entire Rambutan tribe into stones. Then someone stood in Gingerbrave and Friends' way. Uh-oh. That's not good. It was Snake Fruit Cookie. Oh, no. Snake Fruit Cookie told them... Is this... Did I see this part? It has already begun. Do not dare interrupt the dragon's plans. Was this a cutscene that I forgot about? Because I don't remember seeing this cutscene. Who could Snake Fruit Cookie be talking about? Oh, I can only imagine. And what plan does this mysterious cookie have? Sounds like this may cause a lot of danger. So, I'm gonna assume... Oh wait, first of all, all of the dragon cookies who were introduced thus far will be returning for the, myster the mysterious cookie's plans. Oh boy, I'm glad the dragons are returning, but... Hold that, but... Are Ginger Brave and Friends going to be okay? They'd better be, because they can't just kill off the main characters, pretty crazy. This is supposed to be protagonist armor. Uh, in Season 7, a new breakout episode will be released. And I was going to say something, but then I forgot. Fantastic. New breakout episode will be released. It's called The Lustrous Longan Palace. I really hope I pronounced that right. I almost said that as Logang, and that would have been so stupid. Can you tell us more about the stages, Hung Yuk? So in the new breakout episode, you will run with 10 runners through 8 stages. Okay, so it's 10 runners. Oh, I saw the uh, snake plug cookie. A journey to prevent something. Let's take a look at the few stages in detail. And in stage 2, you will see a long path and the waterfall and the long end palace. Yeah, this is definitely breakout uh, based off the new episode because I see that like light. No, not light. The ivory palace in the background. Why do I want to keep saying lychee? Uh, Gingerbread for friends, re revisit the locations where they met the other dragons. Oh yeah, and the thing I remembered what I wanted to say was, uh, plebbing... It's most likely that we're going to receive this new Snake General cookie in the first part of the update and the second part of the update. Probably the new actual dragon itself. Also in Stage 8, Gingerbread friends come back into the Longan Palace, but the two loyal servants wield weapons and threats the group. Two loyal servants? Venture through the reworked maps and obstacles. They meet all the dragons and stop the destructive plan. Yeah, they're definitely trying to look back, take back control of this plebbing dragon. This time you will get to play the bonus time with the dragons. Dragon? What? <laughs> Ginger Brave is like hanging on to Pattaya Dragon? And like, if they're using Pattaya's fire breath to break chests in the air? That's actually a real creative way to get points. There's one thing that worries me, Hung Yuk. I'm curious. Let's help. Worry that some runners might find the Season 7 stages difficult. Everything is difficult nowadays in Kikaron, I tell you. I worry some stages, they might be difficult. What can we do for these runners? Implement a system where new runners get max people. I don't know. I agree. That's why we're adding an easy mode. There's an easy mode? Really? You could play with less runners and easier maps. I probably won't enjoy it because I just like the normal mode. I love it. Oh, and also an easy mode and random challenge because it consumes less crystals. Only 490? That's like a sixth of the price of normal, though. Just about. But, like... Honestly, I still might do a video on it. I probably won't enjoy it because, you know, not as much rewards, but I gotta show it off at some point. And I've been eager to ask about... What are you gonna ask about? Rewards. Obviously, you gotta mention those rewards. You mentioned earlier that there would be lots of rewards. That's actually true, you did mention that. Will you tell us more about them? Please. I would like to get free crystals and rainbow cubes. For everyone to enjoy the Season 7 update even more... Okay. We have three different rewards ready. Excuse me? First, you can receive up to 10,000 crystals just by checking in every day. What? You can... Okay. 10,000 crystals. Second, play any mode to receive up to 15,000 crystals total. What? And then lastly, you can be the winner of up to plumbing... Excuse... 10,000 10, rainbow cubes through a lucky ticket event! And Rose fainted. Literally, that's how insane... Okay. They weren't lying when they were, like, slapping a bunch of crystals and rainbow cubes down just for rewards. I will admit that. This is, like, a bunch of busting rewards. Now, of course, the rainbow cube reward, that definitely seems to be heavily based off luck because it's, like, a scratch-off. And that relies on you getting, like, you know, the times 10 at the end, scratching for rainbow cubes, and getting a lot of it. But, uh, would you like to introduce the first new cookie of Season 7? Let me see this. The first new cookie of Season 7 is Snake Fruit Cookie. We talked about this in the uh, video, how I was like, oh, it might be a cookie with the cookie, like the dragon cookie, or with the cookie against them. And before I knew that was confirmed, that's when we introduced, uh, uh it got revealed on Twitter. So, yeah. When the skill activates, cook uh, snake lancers are summoned who throw spears, destroying obstacles. Okay, and snake poisoners are summoned who throw poison orbs that also destroy obstacles. Poison orbs. What? That is a ominous magic candy. Snakes appear at given intervals, squeezing obstacles until they are destroyed. 
I, that sounds terrifying. Destroy the obstacles, create snake fruit, slice jellies, and grab the created jellies to gain points. Okay, I think those coins have a mad, uh, magnification. Uh, the ivory scale fan. A fan. Pet fans world whirlwind destroying obstacles. Well, I mean, it is something made out of ivory. It is a fan. I did confirm maybe it might be a uh, thing, a pet made out of ivory, but I did say that was for the dragons, though. And it summons a tornado and comes summons like a whirlwind that blows away. And there's a new treasure called the Drakeling Claw. I completely forgot to mention if there was going to be a new treasure. What's wrong with me? Uh, the dragon's claw swipe in front of the cookie, destroying obstacles and granting points. So it's kind of like what happened at the end of the trailer. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's the jelly set. That's confirmed. Because they're just going around like, what's this? And there's a bunch of multicolored jellies around them with the mysterious eyes. For many years ago, dragons would spread mysterious orbs around the world to judge right from wrong. These are seriously, like, biblically accurate angel things. These are terrifying. The new jelly shape set is... It's gonna, to it's gonna be, like, a very ominous name, I guarantee. World Gazing Dragon and Orb Set. Those are, like, nightmarish! One of them even has a ring around it! And I know it probably doesn't have, like, any eyes on it, but that's so terrifying. Like, giant eyeball with wings. Guild Jelly Shape Sets are also going to be released for the new Guild Run Seasons. I forgot, there's gotta be a new Guild Run Season. I should've missed, uh, pointed that out. Uh, became a Guild re Leader recently. Oh yeah, reworked guild runs. I heard that they, they talked about uh, reworking the check-ins, so what are you going to say about this? Uh, speaking of which, are there any nice updates to guild runs? They're most likely going to say yes. Guild exploration and guild check-in rewards are no longer available. What? Excuse me? Did I hear you right? Say that again? I thought I said any nice updates. They're gone. I swear, if you actually messed this up for me. They're actually making me upset. Instead, we're adding something you can receive more rewards than the two combined. Huh? What? B bingo? <laughs> From time to time, special bingo boards will appear full of crystals, and the higher the level, the more often they appear? What? You can get more rewarded by playing bingo. Eh? <laughs> what are they smoking? I was, I thought it was just like, oh, you check in every day and you get like a new cookie. No, and they also reworked the guild chat system. You need to, you don't need to go to the guild lobby anymore. Just press the button on the top of the uh, screen to participate in guild chat anytime. Apparently, you just share what you got from the gotcha shop. Oh, so you can flex off what you have more of. I still can't get over that playing bingo. You can also obtain a guild cheer squad effect. A guild? Wait for guilds? And crystals too, just by joining a guild. Here, take the chance to join a guild. I wish I should have joined a guild now to get free crystals. What is a, a, a tough cookie club? What is this? I've never heard of this. Has it been developed in secret? What are you talking about? Tough cookie. Wait, is this the event where it's like, oh, we're uh, we're looking for the uh, we're looking for the best cookies? Is that what they're talking about? Okay, they, I feel like this is what they're talking about about like uh, the mode which I predicted was like the gauntlet run, but I'm curious. Okay, what is this? Oh, all the cookies look angry. Located in the underground is a club named Tough Cookie Club. Tough Cookie Club. This feels like Fight Club. Every night, a fight is held to determine the strongest and the toughest cookie. What are these options? Herb, Kamiho, Yoga, and uh, Grapefruit? Submit a duel request at the Tough Cookie Club. So is this where I get to pick fights and become the toughest cookie? This feels like a one-man guild. I still have so many questions. I'm curious. Alright. Because I'm curious too. The producer of the... Wait. No one cares that you're a producer, we're just looking for a fight with cookies, let's be honest, hung yuck. Anyway, the second rule of tough, tough Cookie Club is never talked about. That was the first rule! Never talk about Tough Cookie Club. Was rules 3 through 87, never talk about it, because you have a lot of rules to not talk about it. If you want more details, you better log into Cookie Run over break. Alright, so, really we're getting nothing on this. Except we're just gonna have to fight. And they're also saying, now lastly, happy to announce that they're extending it to another season. Extending what? They're gonna be extending- okay, I gotta go back for that, just in case. Uh, helping everyone join team fight, and they're extending it to another th thing. Okay, let's talk about, uh, team fight. In the City of Wizards, okay, a reworked random challenge will take place with a new easy mode. Sure in. The City of Wizards, too. Can't wait to see you in the new change in the random challenge. So they're using the City of Wizards in the new random challenge thing, I assume. And thank you so much for introducing Season 7 with me today. Oh, and by the way, I just saw a mention. Plumbing mentioning the freeze attack. I hate that. <laughs> and the Rose saying, you did a wonderful job. He mentioned Cookie Fight Club like two times. What do you mean, good job? Anyway, what? Before you go, 
Oh, is it about the rainbow cube code? Who is the cookie that Snake Fruit Cookie was talking about? Oh, I can only imagine. Is it the cookie who will be released mid-July? Mid-July. The first rule about Mysterious Cookie never saw- Okay, you need to shush. Now I you just now you're just playing too much. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, wait, it's Hunger Cookie talking about that. Yeah, as you've all probably guessed, all the dragons are on the thumbnail. The Mysterious Cookie is Long Yen Dragon Cookie, the most powerful dragon. Okay, so their name is- The Strong Cookie has a costume too?! Warlord of the Eternal- This is the first dragon cookie with the legendary costume. This is the first cookie with the legendary costume. There will be awesome pet costume in the lobby design. Of course there will be- This is the first dragon- This is the first- We- Don't you like how in the last update we got a legendary costume? Now we got another one? Goodbye to your rainbow cubes, friends. Look for- What are you looking forward to the most in this update? I don't know, probably the loot. People are saying hashtag season 7, or cookie run season 7, hashtag cookie run season 7, great. And they're giving away 777 rainbow cubes to 100, risen, 100 winners? Yes, 100 winners chosen through a random draw, and you gotta include your ID. And it's gonna be held for 2 hours starting now? So they're gonna be tweeting about this, huh? And I may as well enter, which is probably gonna be over. Okay, sure. Can I enter the event? Hungak, you're the creator. You're not gonna be able to win, you just have everything. I don't even think he's a creator, I think he's just a director, what am I saying? Well, let's reveal the coupon code. Okay, so they're gonna reveal a coupon code for Rainbow Cubes, which I'm pretty sure should be available for like two days. But, uh, I have a lot to speak about on my mind for this. I don't want to extend the video for too long, but, my gosh. There's so much to talk about. Let's <sighs> get just tell us about the bye-bye, the Rainbow Cube. What is it gonna show us? Yeah, it, uh, it goes on for two days, and it says, uh, CR Season 7 Dragons. So that's the code, and it's for 700 rainbow cubes. I really recommend that you do that. But, uh, what the pleb just happened? Alright, so much just happened. First of all, the Snake General Cookie, General Snake Cookie, whatever the pleb they're called. I'm pretty sure they have a name that I completely forgot about, but I should definitely look back on it. Snake Fruit Cookie. Let's just go on that. I just call it a Snake Fruit Cookie, because that's what it says. Uh, snake Fruit Cookie honestly looks really cool. Uh, really didn't get any teasers on what the pet looks like, which maybe it was in, like, the actual thumbnail for the actual update, but I don't know. But General Snake Cookie definitely looks ominous and seems like someone that's working with the, uh, uh was it Long Dan? Long Dan? Long Dan Dragon Cookie? I'm pretty sure, because I, thought, I always assumed, like, it was the color ivory. Because, like, you know, the Ivory Dragon Cookie. But apparently it's the Long Gan Dragon Cookie. Which, by the way, has a legendary costume, which I'm just going to say right now, Dev Sisters. You immediately, your previous update had a legendary costume for Fire Spirit. And I appreciate you having, like, a legendary costume for everyone. But we only have so many Rainbow Cubes, man. Like, you are you better hope that every single one of us has, like, a lucky scratch-off that gives us, like, 10,000 Rainbow Cubes. And also, we have better odds of the costume gotcha. Because right now, just... A legendary costume after immediately releasing after another legendary costume, which, first of all, don't get me wrong, monumental that finally a dragon cookie has a legendary costume, and the one it's going to be the one that's the most recently released. So obviously in the future, there's definitely most likely going to be plans for legendary costumes for the other dragons, but they're going to have to be associated with a story. Now, of course, the new breakout actually does look interesting, and I actually do appreciate how uh, they have bonus times. That's It's associated with the dragons, so you have to rely on their playstyle. Like, it only showed footage of going in bonus time with Pattaya Dragon Cookie. So it's just like, oh, you shoot fireballs at, like, the chest to get loot. So you're probably going to have to do something similar with Ananas by, like, you know using aiming meteors or something like that at the ground or like breaking the ground uh, something with lotus about like playing that plebbing instrument she has or like blasting little wave things or also lychee where you have to summon like these little monsters and attack stuff it would be really cool to see how that works but also the check-in thing is very curious because apparently there's no 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 rewards but apparently they have a bingo thing which i have no idea how that works i guess you just gotta get bingo and of course, yeah, it does give you nice loot, don't get me wrong, but that's just... <laughs> what? When? Did... How did they think of that? They were just in there, but by the way, only one new costume I just realized, this is the legendary one, which is shocking. I wish they implemented more, but I'm just gonna say this right now. Who was just like, alright, you know this whole check-in thing? Bingo. And they, they were just like, you're, you're hired. <laughs> I don't know, but also the new uh, Cookie Fight Club, I mean, they showed no information about that, so really I can't give an input on that because I just have to find out what that is for myself because they don't talk about it, so I don't know what that is, though also, 
talking about using the dragons in the uh, breakout, I'm pretty sure if the dragons are helping you during the bonus time, there might be a whole rebellion with the four dragons going up against the actual Longan dragon. Lo lo Longan. I want to say Longan, but it's the Longan dragon cookie. So they're just like, hey, we're the four small ones, but we're going to beat up this big one. And the big one's just like, oh no, but I'm going to take control of all the lands now. Because apparently, I didn't even notice, maybe I don't remember, but I thought it was Lychee who said like, oh, it's all in order now at the end of Gingerbread's Tale. And then that's when uh, the new uh, Long End Dragon Cookie look up, but look up, woke up, either or. And then chaos is going to ensue, and probably bad stuff is going to happen all around. But I don't know, I'm just going to say this is going to be a very curious update. I'd say it's a lot, it's honestly a risky update, but hey, whatever, I'm actually all for it, so... Uh, I don't really know what else to talk about. I should probably go on Twitter, tweet that cooker run hashtag season, like hashtag cooker run season seven, try and get a chance for uh, Rambo cubes. But you know what? Love it. I would just say it's going to be an interesting update. If you don't want to play the game, you don't have to. But if you do, then I recommend that you install it this time because this is definitely going to be an update where you want to get a lot of rewards because they're definitely handing out a lot of crystals and rainbow cubes and stuff like that, especially more recently. So just get all the freer stuff as you can. Like, get as many of it as you can because it's definitely going to be really cool. And if you haven't uh, joined a guild yet, then I recommend you do so. But, yeah, anyway. If you did enjoy this video, then please be sure to leave a like on it. Also, share it with your friends for more run content. And if you enjoy my content in general, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't yet. Or you want to, hit the bell icon next to the subscribe button to receive all my notifications on this YouTube channel in the near future. Also, I have merchandise if you want to check it out. I'm not forced to get to buy anything. I'm just saying there might be something interesting in the shop that you might be interested in. And also, cook your own iceberg resurface. You should check that out. But, I uh, don't know. Above all else, I will see you entities and guardians in the next video. Hail the hype knees.